flaming stylus. I choose you. Hey guys, welcome to the second video on Photo Puppet HD. In the first video, I introduced you to some basics to help get you started. But in this video, we're going to look at a more advanced feature of Photo Puppet called frame switching. Now, frame switching is a tool that allows you to do a lot of your traditional animation techniques like lip syncing and cycles and action sequences. To help demonstrate frame switching, I've created a project in Photo Puppet called The Usual Suspect. Following this link will take you to a Dropbox site where you can download the project. Tap on the download button and then choose to open in Photo Puppet HD. You should now see a confirmation message in Photo Puppet saying that the project has been imported. You can now open the usual suspects from within Photo Puppet. Right away you should recognize one of the guys in the lineup, the wrestler that we used in our last video to do some basic movements. The motions for the wrestler were basically confined to doing some simple rotations with the arms. Today we're going to look at how frame switching can open up even more animation possibilities from within Photo Puppet. As the name suggests, frame switching allows you to move between multiple images quickly. We activate this frame switching tool within Photo Puppet by tapping on an image that has multiple frames loaded. The teacher has been loaded with multiple mouse shades for lip syncing. The teacher also has three poses that you can choose by using the frame switcher. You can also use the frame switcher with the dog to move through an action sequence. Photo Puppet also has a cycle tool which works better in a situation where you're moving through multiple frames as part of a sequence. You can use your finger just to rotate around the wheel to move the dog, or you can use the automatic button to allow Photo Puppet to automatically move through the frames for you. Using frame switching can really help you get that traditional animated look. Like the character sheet we use for creating the wrestler, we use a similar character sheet for creating frames for frame switching. Instead of breaking the character sheet into body parts, we break the character sheet into multiple frames. Importing for frame switching is very similar to how we set up the wrestler from last time. We start by importing the character sheet, but this time we'll be cutting out frames instead of body parts. Since all the frames are on the same sheet, we can save ourselves some time by making duplicates. Now we just cut the frames from each sheet. Start with the first one. With the cut tool, just trace around the first pose to cut it out. Tap the check mark to save your changes, and then move on to the second frame. Line up the second frame to the first frame, and then make your cut again, this time tracing around the second pose. And repeat for the third pose. Line it up, and then cut it out. Alright, now you have your three poses. If everything looks good, tap the check mark to return to the project workspace. I'm going to reposition the teacher back to the left. Using the layers tool, I'm going to bring the mouth back up to the top. I'm going to adjust the teacher again and give the frame switching tool a try. And everything seems to be looking good. Lip syncing is also something that can be done with frame switching. This is the dialogue sheet that I use to cut the teacher's mouth shapes from. This gives us 12 mouth shapes to work with. Okay, you can go take a seat now. 12 is actually a lot of mouth shapes to work with in Photo Puppet. So I recommend an anime style of lip syncing which really relies on three basic shapes. A closed mouth, an open mouth, and a fully open mouth. We're dying out here! Send back up now! Let's take a look at the project file to see how the lip syncing works. You can see we got the three mouth shapes loaded over here on the side, and they're loaded in a way that we can use the cycle tool to rotate through them. The trick then is to match the mouth movements to the pre-recorded dialogue. 
Once you understand how frame switching works, it's an easy matter to create a walk cycle like this from a static image like this, or take a sheet like this and make it into a walk cycle like this. There's really nothing you can't do with a little time and imagination. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out my upcoming book where I get into these animation techniques in more detail and cover other items like keyframing and doing, rotoscoping, and creating cartoons in animation HD. I like video games. Well, that's all for now. For news on the upcoming book, please follow me on Twitter or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Puka Cheese, I choose you!